Hello, my name is Martin Johnson. I'm the CEO of Alsica Pharma. I'm here to present uh, Alsica Pharma and the right issue that we are now uh, going for. And the agenda that we will have uh, for this presentation is to talk about briefly what is, who are uh, Alsecure, give you a project update uh, re also regarding our achievements during the last six months, and also about the, the right issue we are doing and the purpose for the right issue. And briefly about Alsecure, we are a company focusing on Alzheimer's disease and pain, areas of huge unmet medical need. And we are spin out out of AstraZeneca. So when AstraZeneca left this area, Alsecure was created. And this in, in collaboration with the Swedish Alzheimer's Fund and with Professor Bengt Wimland from Karolinska Institute. And we are based in Stockholm at Karolinska Institute where we are doing our development. And what we are working with are small molecules and developing first-in-class properties. And we have three platforms. We have Alstatin, which we are developing uh, so individuals should not develop Alzheimer's disease. And then we have Neural Restore to help individuals who have cognitive deficit to improve their ability to learn and remember. And then we also have pain projects. And we are listed at NASDAQ, First North Premier Growth Market in Sweden, Stockholm, since 2018. And our business model is that we are a research and development company. We focus on developing our uh, projects for outlicensing and at the latest outlicensing them in phase two. And through the outlicensing, get capital that we can invest in our other projects and based on this, developing value for our shareholders. And this is the uh, pipeline that we are having, new restore. Uh, that we are developing, focusing on Alzheimer's disease. Here we have positive phase one data. And now we are preparing for phase two. We have received a grant from the European Innovation Council, who has also offered us a potential investment in the company. And I will speak more about this later on. And New Restore is not only a project for uh, Alzheimer's, we also see the potential to treat other cognitive disorders, uh, for instance, in Parkinson's disease, uh, uh, traumatic brain injury, but also, for instance, uh, to treat depression. Uh, our other uh, Alzheimer's project is Alstatin, which we are developing so individuals should not develop Alzheimer's disease to identify individuals who are at risk early and uh, stop the progression. Then in our pain platform, we have one project where we have positive phase 2A data. And this is a, a novel uh, TRPV1 antagonist, ACD440, where we just also have received positive response from the FDA for a registration trial. And here we are focusing on neuropathic pain, but also see the opportunity with regard to orphan indications. And then our uh, second pain project is against osteoarthritis, a big problem which is growing. And here we have a track A NAM, ACD137, which we now are focusing on preparing for phase one. And we are developing our project in near collaboration with world leading experts like Henrik Setterberg, uh, Bengt Wienblad, and also Maria Eriksdotter. And we also have, are so fortunate, so in our board and as an investor, we have Professor Jan Lundberg, who uh, was the previous uh, head of Ayla Lilly Research and Development. And he has chosen to both invest in our company and sit in our board. So we are very fortunate. And we are also very fortunate that uh, Jan is very active in the company. And going to our Alzheimer's projects, we have Alstatin, uh, that we are developing so we should prevent the development of Alzheimer's disease. And then new restore to improve learning and memory capabilities. And both of these projects are validated by big pharma companies like Roche and ASI. And Alstatin uh, is to see to it that you don't uh, develop Alzheimer's disease or develop, uh, delay the development. And what we are focusing on here is to see to it that you do not build up plaque in the brain, so you develop Alzheimer's. So how do we do this? We are focusing on the process, how the plaque is built, 
And this process is initiated that there is a toxic protein, A beta 42, which is cleaved out and is forming bigger and bigger plaques in the end, um, in creating plaque, which is damaging and breaking down the brain. With our molecules, we can reduce the uh, production of these toxic proteins and diminish the production of these uh, toxic uh, fragments. And we have shown that we can decrease the production of A-beta-42 with over 60%. And as we are diminishing this production, we are also producing more of uh, proteins that are protective for the brain. And we have also newly published data with world-leading experts, uh, researchers at Bosch U, at Karolinska Institute, and Solgenska and UCL, showing that uh, gamma sectase uh, modulator Alstatin can also induce plaque regression. So this is a preclinical study uh, where we looked at uh, a treatment of 28 days where we saw uh, uh, plaque clearance of around 30%. So this is new novel data showing that we have several different modalities with our compounds. And the patients that we want to help, of course we want to help patients who already have developed Alzheimer's, and also doing this in combination with the approved antibodies. But the ultimate thing we want to do is to offer a preventive treatment where we, through a blood sample that you can take already today, see, do I produce more of these uh, toxic proteins? And then looking at uh, uh, the individual genes, do I have an increased risk of developing Alzheimer? And if uh, the uh, answer on these questions are both are yes, then the treatment uh, with the Alstatin can be very beneficial. And we are now uh, in the phase to prepare for a phase one, phase two studies, where we will go in to healthy volunteers as well as patients to look at to what extent we can uh, reduce the production of these toxic proteins. So this is something we are preparing for. And the patent situation on our compound that we have developed in-house uh, is looking very uh, favorable, uh, expecting patent protection to 2045 and 2050 with uh, protection with the exclusivity in the US. And also new restore, complementing Alstatin. Here we are focusing on improving learning and memory capabilities. And here we are preparing for a phase two in Alzheimer's patients. And we have received a grant from the European Innovation Council for this, which I will talk about. So what we are focusing on here is that there are neurotrophins, BDNF and NGF, which are key for brain health and uh, for learning and memory capabilities. Individuals who are low on these uh, neurotrophins are developing Alzheimer's in a much, much quicker uh, progression. And here we are focusing on increasing the signaling of BDNF and NGF. And how are we doing this? We have developed molecules that can increase the signaling with around two to 300%. And what we also have shown is that we are uh, potentially improving brain health. We show that we can increase new uh, mitochondrial activity with around 25 to 50%. We can uh, increase neural proliferation. We induce neural protection. We induce neural outgrowth, improving synaptic health. And these uh, molecules are also anti-inflammatory. So this uh, data is showing that we also can have a disease-modifying effect and a protective effect. And if you look at NeuroRestore, what we have shown that we can do, sh having shown that preclinically, is that we can improve the ability to learn, the ability to store what you have learned, and the ability to remember what you have learned. And what we have shown in phase one is that our substance, ACD856, our leading compound, is safe and well tolerated. It can be taken once daily as an oral dose. It goes over the blood-brain barrier with more than 37%. And also that we are engaging the brain and the centers in the brain, which are key for learning and memory capability. And based on this, we are now preparing for phase two. And the European Innovation Council have given us a grant of 2.5 million for this study. And they have also offered us to potentially invest in the company, a process that we now are actively working on. So that they have done this, and they have done this 
uh, to us. And this year we were the only Swedish biotech pharma company who got a grant from the European Innovation Council. So truly validation for the project. And also this project, we have very good uh, patent situation, uh, expecting protection in the US until 2044. And then looking at our pain platforms, here we have one project for osteoarthritis, a growing uh, problem for more than 300 million patients, and here we have track nam and then we also have uh, ACD440, a novel TRP1 antagonist for neuropathic pain, where there are more than 600 million individuals with this uh, problem. And this project, ACD440, is built on the science that in 2021 was given the Nobel Prize in, in Medicine to Professor David Julius. And Starting at track ANAM, focusing on osteoarthritis, here we are building on that we saw that the anti-NGF antibodies had a very eff a good effect in osteoarthritis, but they had side effects. And what we have developed are selective molecules, ACD137, where we are avoiding uh, impacting what is believed to have induced the rapid uh, progressing OI uh, in the patient that was induced uh, through the uh, NGF antibodies. And that is with regard to P75 signaling and we have shown that we have a very potent uh, ef uh, effect and also uh, looks like we have a very good uh, safety profile. And we, we are also developing this as an oral medication. And this uh, drug is also believed to have no addiction problem, so we can uh, replace uh, op opioids. And this is a field that is of high interest to, to big pharma companies. Uh, both Pfizer and Merck has been active in this uh, area, as well as Asakase. And Asakase is now in phase 2b and are expecting to have a readout this year. And we have a molecule which looks very, very promising. So if Asakase, while well, validating this field, have good effects, the attractiveness of uh, this project, ACD137, is very, very promising. And we have earlier uh, now also shown that our efficacy with our clinical candidate, ACD137, is in line with the antibodies. We have also shown uh, that it is potentially uh, protective and also is anti-inflammatory. And that is anti-inflammatory has not been shown by Asakase. So we think based on our data on our molecule that we have a clear differentiation uh, towards uh, Asakase. And then, also patent here, looking good, uh, uh, expecting exclusivity, patent protection uh, to 2045 and then 2050 in the US with, uh, based on the exclusivity. And then our last pain project, uh, our novel TRP1 antagonist uh, against neuropathic pain. Here we have ACD440, a project that we initially was started at AstraZeneca and that we have been able to in-license. And this is a project where we have generated positive phase two data in chronic patients with neuropathic pain. And what we showed was that uh, with our molecule, we had a 50% pain reduction, and also that the drug was safe and well tolerated, and also showing that we have a bedside kit that we can identify the patient who will respond. So here we are now preparing for our next positive trial, or our next clinical trial, and uh, that should then be a phase two slash phase three uh, trial. And we have, uh, in recent week, received positive feedback from the FDA for this trial, where we are going in, focusing on a rare disease, ephemeralgia, and uh, FDA has responded very positive on the plans that we have uh, presented to them, which is for registration study in this orphan indication. And why is orphan indication attractive? The reason for this is that an orphan indication, you can have a much shorter development time to market, so we can come to market much quicker. The development costs are lower. Uh, the exclusivity, the protection for an approved drug is longer, seven years uh, uh, exclusivity. 
and then the price picture for orphan uh, drugs, rare disease, is very high. In the US, the uh, median price is now around 220,000 uh, US dollars. So in Swedish crowns, over 2 million. So very attractive uh, area to go for. And to support this, we are now uh, propo we are now going for rights issue to take in four to eight point five million with a over allotment uh, uh, option of ten million Swedish crown. We will have a period for subscription period of, from the eighth to the twenty second uh, of July. Price per share will be two twenty, and. This uh, rights issue uh, is supported by all our existing main shareholders as well as the board and they are signing up for their curatra. And we also have a new investor coming in with a subscription commitment uh, which is around 10% of the, the rights issue and this is Max Mitteger Capital Verwaltning. Uh, go to our uh, homepage to read more about this rights issue. Uh, scan the, the code you see in the picture. And then, uh, what would we use these resources for? Uh, the main uh, uh, part of this uh, uh, rights issue will be used for the phase two uh, uh, trial in uh, Alzheimer's patients. Then we will also use a part of it to prepare the other Alzheimer's project for uh, phase one, as well as the osteoarthritis project for phase one. And then we will also have intense efforts into outlicensing. And here we are focusing on ACD 440. And with the positive feedback from the FDA, uh, we have increased our opportunity to outlicense this project. So then, why is Alsecure an interesting company to invest in? We are targeting areas of significant unmet medical need. We are doing this with a strong team that have developed what, uh, we have present, what I have presented in this presentation. We have platforms with first-in-class properties that can be game changers that we have developed uh, with our organization. And we are also doing uh, parallel investment with potent follow-up programs, and we are truly not a one-trick pony. And uh, all of our projects have uh, blockbuster uh, potential, and also that we have been evolving from an idea company to a phase two company uh, that now also have been uh, validated by the European Innovation Council, supporting our next uh, clinical trial. So, Good reasons for investing in Alsecure. So with that, visit our homepage, learn more about the rights issue, and thank you for your time. And have a great day.